Hello there. This will be part one of a multiple episode series culminating in an ultimate botting guide video. In this video, I'll be going over how to use the RuneScape 3 bot called Bot With Us. To begin, I'll explain a bit about Bot With Us. It's a RuneScape 3 botting client, access to it is locked behind a paid subscription. It is the most advanced publicly available botting software for RuneScape 3. As of November 2024, there are 110 scripts available on the SDN, being a mixture of free and paid scripts. The scripts are written in Java, so it's easy to create large scripts with their API. Now onto the tutorial. To create an account, you'll want to head on over to botwithus.net and on the Get In Started drop down, select Register. Type in your desired username and recommend your Discord name. Then click Register with Discord. You will be taken to a Discord web auth page. Read over it and if you agree, you can press authorize. Now you'll have an account registered with Bot With Us via your Discord. Next up, we will need client access. Come join the Bot With Us Discord server which I have linked in the description. You will have two options. You can purchase with a credit card or with cryptocurrency. Cards will give you the option to purchase a variety of subscription lengths, including a two-day trial. Card payments are secured with Stripe and crypto payments use Coinbase to verify them. No matter the payment method, you are given by default two sessions and you can purchase additional sessions at a rate of $4 per session, a session being how many bots you can actively run at one time. This is also where you can purchase marketplace tokens. They cost $1 per token, cards have a minimum purchase of 8 and there's no minimum for crypto. These are used to purchase paid scripts on the SDN. In the drop down, you can select how many tokens to add. If you select 10 in the drop down and then change it to 1, it will combine to change your order amount to 11. Once you have purchased your client access and optionally some tokens, you will receive a serial. Head back to the botwithus.net website and on the right, you should be signed in and can click your name and press profile. This will take you to your purchase information. It will display your coins or tokens and any subscriptions to the client you have. Click Redeem Serial. Enter the serial you are given. Press Redeem. And now you'll have access to the client. To download the client, click your name in the top right again and press Download. This will take you to the download page where you can then download the loader. I would recommend creating a new Bot With Us folder somewhere for it as running the loader will create some files in the same directory. Run the loader to install Bot With Us. You may need to restart your PC after this step. Then, once it's installed, you should be able to run the loader and come to this screen. In the Manage Accounts section, I will show you first how to add a legacy or classic account. Classic accounts are for non-Jagex accounts, so logins made before 9th of January 2024. Click Add Account. Type in your username or email, your password, and the PIN if there is any. Then Free and Paid World will be the world it logs into depending on membership status. You can tell it to auto log in or to auto restart. Log in is obvious but the auto restart is for when you get session expired and you have to restart the client after 24 hours. Now press OK and your account is added. You can double click it to edit it. If you ever want to delete an account, you can delete it inside config.bin or just delete that file to delete all accounts. To launch the account you just added, we can open Launch Account section. Press Start Classic Account. You should find your new account there, select it and press OK. The game will then launch and will log you in. For some reason, the visuals are a bit weird today until it gets logged in. Never seen it like this before. Another way to start a Bot With Us session is to load the RuneScape client and log in yourself. At the top of the Bot With Us loader, you should find the client and it will say Unmanaged. Right click it and select Inject. Go back to your RuneScape client and you should see the Bot With Us icon appear. And now it's ready like before. It won't be able to auto log in or restart like this but it's just another way you can use it. Now we are logged in, if you press the Bot With Us logo, it will toggle the menu bar at the top of your client. This has a bunch of debug features useful for writing your own scripts. It also has the scripts menu. If you click scripts, it will pop up with all your local scripts and the SDN scripts. Local scripts will be the scripts that you create yourself if you plan to do that. And SDN scripts 
are the ones that are added via the SDN. Let's go do that now. Head back on over to botwithus.net. Click the drop down menu at the top right and select script market, which will then take you to the SDN. I will select a woodcutting script that can chop trees in worth up to test. Press subscribe on the script you want to add and then wait for the page to refresh. If you click it again, the script should say unsubscribe. This means it has been added to your client. Back in game in the scripts menu and in the SDN scripts tab, press refresh and any script you added will appear. Click this button to load it. Each GUI and script will be different. Go through the options to set up how you desire and then press start. Some scripts have their own debug logs but you can also click the console button that appears after you load the script. If you ever have a problem with something not working, I would suggest looking here first. It could tell you if you're missing any items or any ability that's not on your bar, etc. If you have a problem and the logs are of no help, you can ask for help in the Discord server. There are a few support channels. For general help, you can use support chat. For help with a specific script on the SDN, you can use the script support tickets chat channel. And for client specific help, you can use the client support tickets chat channel. There are no good ways to proxy at the moment, none that will allow you to use the auto restart feature. It is being worked on but it's not ready yet. However, I will show you two methods. First, you will need a proxy and for that, you can check out this video's sponsor, Proxy Sale. Visit proxy-sale.com forward slash runescape and use discount code FURYSHARK to get 20% off your IPv4, ISP, mobile and residential proxies. Link is in the description. Now that you have your proxy, you'll need to download Proxifier. It is paid software, but you can easily find license keys on Google. I will leave links to Proxifier in the description. Now that you have Proxifier installed, in Proxifier, go to the Profile tab and click Proxy Servers. Click Add. Input the proxy info and change its protocol to SOX5. Press Check to make sure it's working. As long as it passes Test 2, it's good to go. Press OK and OK. If asked do you want Proxifier to use this proxy by default, select No. Press OK again. And now press Yes. Or go back to Profile and select Proxification Rules. Click Add. Give your proxy a rule a name so you know what the IP is or what it's for. I will call it Herblor to use for my Herblor bots. You can target a PID or you can target the world. If you select PID, you will have to update the rule every time you restart the client. If you select world, you won't be able to run scripts that hop outside that world. So for PID, we want to have the bot with us loader open, start a RuneScape client, find the PID that appears for the new client, and then on Proxifier, inside the applications box, type PID equals and then the number. If you want to add multiple clients to one proxy, you can split them by using a semicolon and writing PID equals and then another number. Leave target host blank and then right at the bottom, you'll select the proxy you want to use. Now press OK and your rule is added. Log into RuneScape and then head to Proxifier and if you have done it right, you will see a connection. Going back into Proxification rules, you can also target the world. I will show you how to set it to use the proxy on World 11. Make sure Applications is empty. In Target Host, type World and then the world you want to proxy. Asterisk dot RuneScape dot com. This time when we log in, we will notice another downside of target in the world. When you log in, you're not logging into the proxy as it's not reached your world yet. But then log into your chosen world and you will see the connection and proxifier is there. That's all for this tutorial. You now know how to get started with bot in RuneScape 3 using bot with us. How to find scripts and how to use any proxies if you choose to do that. While I still hopefully have some of your attention, I have just started a Discord server and I'm doing a giveaway for 500 million GP OSRS or an equivalent payout. 500 mil OSRS is equal to around 7 bill RS3. For more information on how you can win, check out the announcements chat. Come join at discord.gg or slash OSGP. I have a few other ideas for tutorials, but if there's anything you would like to see specifically, leave a comment and I will investigate it. Subscribe so you don't miss it. And before you go, leave the video a like. Okay, thanks. Goodbye there.